Welcome back. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make Thai Penang curry from scratch. At first I was going to make red curry but then I changed my mind. So here how you transfer the red curry into Penang curry paste. Okay, so here's the red curry. I'm going to be using some of that and I will be using about one tablespoon of peanut butter and four tablespoons of fish sauce. This is the brand that I use. You guys can use any brand that you have that you like. Also one tablespoon of shrimp paste. And if you don't have that, you can just add a little bit more fish sauce instead of shrimp paste and a little bit of sugar. I use ginger slices this time because I ran out of galangal, and that's okay. These are called coffee lime leaves. It's basically Asian equivalent to bay leaves, I would say, but I like its smell. It's um, lime-like zizziness so much better, and it's a little spicy and um, a little sour and tangy. I love that. So you see, I use these a lot in my soup and curry. One red bell pepper, about one chopped onion, so, and I'll be using some Thai chilies as well because I love spicy, but I'm going to put that on my curry separately. And one cup of chicken broth. Alright, that's pretty much. Oh, and also coconut milk. <laughs> coconut milk is very important. So I'm going to be using about 300 ml of the coconut milk. And this is about one and a half pounds of chicken. So you just slice and cut them into nice pieces like this. three tablespoons of chopped lemongrass or um, you can pound these um, lemongrass if you like and you just add one tablespoon of vegetable oil or cooking oil and then just add all the herbs and and roast them until it starts to smell very nice and fragrant and I'm gonna mix all of these herbs also some garlic I love garlic so I'm gonna put about four to five cloves of garlic you know powder a little bit just to get this extra oil and aroma from the garlic before you roast them so on a medium high heat just add all the herbs in and roast until it starts to smell nice and fragrant So you can see I have um, garlic, ginger, coffee lime leaves, uh, lemongrass, and some onions. I'm going to roast this until they're softer, they start to smell very nice. I'm going to grind these together or pound these with the rest of my ingredients, including the red curry paste and peanut butter. So you can pound them or you can just simply just grind everything together but make sure you add some liquid in it i added about 250 ml about 300 ml of coconut milk i'm not sure but this this is about the amount that i use and um, you can use a little bit more if you would like the curry to be a little bit more creamy i like my curry to be less creamy and thinner so i just add you know like only about 250 300 ml of coconut milk so i just blend everything see it's really easy to blend because we saute and we cook all the herbs before we blend it in so here this is the texture you get this is the nice paste of penang curry um, sauce but you know what i forgot i forgot to add peanut butter but that's okay if you forget some of the ingredients you can also add in the pot later on and just try and see if you like it 
no stressing out when you cook, okay? Unlike making French macaron or those French pastry. So that's another thing, okay? With cooking, play around, have fun, and just be creative. And, you know, whatever you like, if you like it, I like it. <laughs> other people might like it too. So I just add about one cup of soup, chicken broth. If you don't have chicken broth, you can maybe um, add some you know hot water add a little bit of chicken bouillon uh, maybe like one teaspoon okay so here's some of the um, curry paste i have left so i just add a little bit more soup and then shake shake and then just add it in the curry pot and then now i'm gonna wait until um, the chicken start to cook and i add about three tablespoons of fish sauce three tablespoons of fish sauce and about four tablespoons of um, if you have palm sugar, use palm sugar. If you don't have palm sugar, use about four tablespoons of brown sugar and just mix everything together. And then let it bubble, let it boil a little bit. Then you can add vegetables of your choices. I love using um, red bell peppers because I love the color. You can use green, orange, or other vegetables that you like. I just add some chopped onions the rest of the chopped onions that we prepared earlier just mix 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 and then when everything is done i just kind of lower the heat to like medium low cover it up make sure all the chickens are well cooked and then you see that is the lemongrass recipe that i did not shop because this part is very difficult to digest <laughs> and then so i just kind of add it in just to give this extra aroma of the herbs and then some bell pepper try and see i like and i'm very happy with the flavor now it's time to serve and eat so i have this thai chili right there like about three that's from me and some coffee lime leaves if you don't have coffee lime leaves feel free to use maybe basil leaves and then here's some coconut milk and then I just basically use scissors and then chop, chop, chop. And then I am done. So that is my Penang curry. So if you guys have any questions, please let me know. I would be so happy to chat about cooking, baking, or maybe some real estate. If you are interested in buying, selling, or investing in La Morinda area, I'm very, very excited. I'm so happy to help you guys. Okay, so let's just eat. And here is my chicken. And feel free, guys, to use tofu, beef, shrimp, fish. Sometimes I even use crab meat when I feel a little fancy. And then enjoy with some jasmine rice or some naan bread or any carb of your choice. Or if you like to eat it plain like that, feel free and go ahead. Okay. All right, guys. Today, that's it. This is what I like to share. I hope to show you guys how to cook my other dishes next week, maybe in two weeks. For now, happy cooking, everybody. Have a great weekend. See you next time. Bye-bye.